Hey guys, welcome back to the Pittsburgh franchise here. We're going to be playing with them, taking on the 49ers. Pretty good team the 49ers are. They're undefeated as well. So we're putting our undefeated record against theirs. I know it's only 2-0, but, uh, you know, 2-0 is 2-0. So we're going to be taking them on. Uh, some fun matchups here to watch is going to be, you know, Richard Sherman going up against Juju. We'll see if he travels to Juju. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't, to be honest, because if he travels with Juju... That's going to make it a whole lot harder here, but we're coming off two good wins. Took out uh, the Patriots at Foxborough. Took out Seattle in our home opener. Uh, so I feel like, you know, postseason is definitely could be us right now. We're looking pretty good. I know it is only 2-0, but, you know, if it's any sign of what's to come, we took out the Patriots and Seattle, two pretty good teams. So I'm feeling pretty good about our chances right now, and we're going to see who's going to come out undefeated here, either us or the 49ers. Let's go ahead and see what Jimmy G can put together here. We're going to probably be a defensive tackle. I think that's probably the best position for us to play. Oh, wow, they're going to do a little RPO. Marquise Goodwin gets it. Speedster, we need to watch out for him. Can't really play man coverage, to be honest. They have some nice receivers that can burn us. As you take a look here, offensive line isn't too bad. They got two nice tackles here for the 49ers. Decent receiving core with the speedy Goodwin and Coleman at the backfield. All right, big third and five here, big third and five. Let's get after him. Come on, let's get Jimmy G under some serious pressure. All right, come on, TJ. Oh, he was right on him. Oh, and we stop him short. What a great tackle there. Great tackle. All right, want a bit of a hot streak, to be honest. So we, our receivers are starting to step up a little bit. Des Bryant's really starting to step up. I'd love to get Juju more involved. Just like that, just like that. As he gets a 16-yard reception to start it off. Something that we haven't really done yet is I'd really love to try to get James Conner involved in the passing game. I really think he could be a huge threat for us. We're just going to have to get rid of it, though. Toss it out to Juju. Nice little broken tackle there by Juju. Gets us almost a first. Now, we are going to have to watch out. This defensive line is nasty for the 49ers. This is going to tell a lot if we can pick this up or not. Oh, wow. James Conner finds a hole. And James Conner blows through there for the first. Yeah, I've really been impressed by the way our offensive line has played. They've played fantastic for us. Go ahead and get that to Dez. Nice little catch there by Dez. Gets us up to the 36. And we're, we're on the move currently. We are on what they would call the move. So we're going to go ahead and go with a little dive here. Get James Conner involved. Ooh, Green Bay, 2-1. and one. Need to watch out for them. Nice little juke there by James Conner. Gets us up to the 32. Another first down for us here. Get it to him. Nice. We find Des Bryant on the little slant route. And Des Bryant gets all the way up to the 14. And this is one of the first decent defenses we're playing. And, man, we're moving quite well. Moving quite well against him. Oh, okay. I'll take that because, I, to be honest, I, I was going to throw there across the middle. Glad I didn't. Probably would have been picked off. But Nick Bosa gets in there and sacks us. All right, we might actually look for James Conner here. The safeties, they look a little off like they're not going to be coming in. Yep. Oh, we had him. No, we can't miss that. I mean, they sent the house at us. We had that, bro. That's tough. All right, let's see if we can maybe do something here. Get it to James Washington. Did he hang on to that? James Washington with a one-handed diving catch. All right, let's use our Hargrave here. Let's see if we can get through here. Let's try to cause some pressure. Come on. All right, he's going to find George Kittle. We don't want to let Kittle enter the zone because if there's one thing that can beat us, it's a nice tight end. All right, let's see if TJ Watt can get a little pressure. He's going to be going up against a second-year tackle on Mike McGlinchkey. Oh, wow, we just took up two guys. Did you see that? We literally took up two guys with two it there, but Kittle gets the first. Another first down here lined up under center. Jimmy G is. Kind of curious to see what Jimmy G is going to do in the sim. Oh, wow. We were engaging on him. George Kittle with the move. Oh, George Kittle, he's starting to get work on us right now. All right. We're going to double team Goodwin here. We are going to try man coverage. A little bit worried. A little bit worried. We're going to motion here. So are we. Think it's a run. Pretty sure it is. It is. All right. Get after him. Come on. Stop him. All right. There we go. It's going to leave us in a decent third down situation. All right, let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Come on, defense. I need I need you. I think it's going to be run, too. It is. Come on. Get him. Oh, what a tackle there. Are you kidding me? Bro. Getting after him. Edmonds in on the tackle. All right, we're facing a pretty tough already almost three and out here. 
So we're, we're going to have to try to find this play. Juju. Oh, we had him. No, I tried to throw it, bro. Fourth down, we're going to have to punt it away. All right, let's get after him with Stefan too. I feel like playing with the defensive lineman is going to be our best option. I feel like I was kind of controlling the game too much, playing as a linebacker, Jesus, as Coleman gets a nasty run there. Gets him up to the 47, but yeah, we're going to have to play with the D lineman. I think that's going to be the most realistic for us. You know, just because I, I think we're not going to be as disruptive playing with a defensive lineman. And I think that's going to help out, make it a little bit more realistic, and still give us something to do. Come on, let's get in there, bro. Oh, he's wide open. Jesus. Oh, they're starting to shred our secondary. That's not what I wanted to see. It's time. It is time to get some pressure. Let's get after him with Stefan to it. There we go. There we go. Come on, or TJ Watt. I need somebody. Thought we were going to pick that off. Well, our defense is stepping up. Our defense is stepping up, bro. Are you kidding me? Pittsburgh used to not have a defense at all. Since we've been playing with them here, man. They're impressing. They are impressing. Now 49ers here to tie it up. See if they can. Been a defensive battle so far. And the 49ers hit it right down the middle there. They tied up 3-3. Honestly, I don't know what I was thinking last drive. We have to get the ball out super quick against this defensive line. Go get after us. Oh, Richard. Oh, we beat him. I was like, Jesus. Did I used to get throw an interception? Close, but Juju wins the first battle there. I feel like curl routes are going to suit us best. Really, I do, because their defensive line is starting to get after us a bit, which is worrying. Just like that. Just like that. We had to get rid of it there. Bad throw. Come on. Take Fred Warner down, please. Thank you. All right. But we throw an interception there. Not good. Not good because that puts him in prime position to really just take the lead right back. Now, if there's one thing we've done, we've had the interception bug with Big Ben. 100% we have. Man, we have got to stop the run. The way they're running is just going to not good for us. That's going to leave him in a pretty tough situation. We're going to go with hard flat cover two. Well, we get through quickly. No! Oh, interceptions back to back. I'll take it. What a freaking broken tackle there. Who is that, Baron? Jesus, you see him running for his life to break that tackle. We get an interception right back for us. Nice to know our defense can make plays from time to time, too. Super good to know because it just wasn't like that in years past for Pittsburgh, right? The defense, you just knew they probably weren't going to get a stop for you. 100%. As we get up the middle there with James Conner for a pretty good rush. We are going to go play action here. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can bounce back with Big Ben here. Not through another interception. All right. I'll, oh, wow. Turns up field. Okay. Okay. I'm taking that right there. Get another first down off that. First down here. See what we can get. Throw it to the tight end. Nice. Nice little grab there by the tight end McDonald. He fights up there for another first down. I feel like if we're going to pass it, almost going empty is the best option for us. Just so we can get rid of it quickly if that requires. Yep, that's open. That is open. The tight end makes another grab. I think that's three straight times. We found McDonald now for a first. Hey, definitely looks like you're sending some pressure. Look at that. Are they sending everyone at us? Going to toss it to James Washington there quickly. And 10 for 14, I'll take it. We need this first. We need this first with James Conner. We're going to go for it. Come on. Please. James. Oh, there we go. Fight for it. That's what I'm talking about. James Conner with a great run there. Gets us the first. No, we're not in any hurry. Just let the clock run a little bit. Ooh, Sherman did not travel with Juju. That is a matchup to watch there. Actually, no, it isn't. No. What am I doing? D Ford in there for the sack. Get out of here. Get out of here, bro. Des Bryant with the chance here. Des Bryant with the freaking chance. Get it to him. Get in the goal line, Des. Are you kidding? I, I was going to go for it on fourth down. Got to kick the field goal, though. Got to. Because we get the ball to start the second half. So I feel like getting a lead here is really good for us. Only 19 seconds left. I don't really expect the 49ers to be able to do anything with that. Oh, okay. So I, I feel like this might be man coverage because Sherman did travel with Juju. Yep, yep, get it. Oh, I thought Juju was going to snag that with one hand. Man, we're really struggling here on offense. Not sure what's going on, but, man, we just can't move. We can't move. 
We need to cause a little disruption up here. I mean, we only have allowed three points on defense, but we just need to get off the field a little bit. Actually, I can't blame my defense at all. Actually, I gotta blame my O. We just can't move currently. Oh, there. There we go. Oh, I thought we were gonna get through there and stop that in the backfield. Didn't get another first down. Coleman's starting to really d produce here. Another first down here for the 49ers. I need a field goal to tie it. Get in there. Somebody, please. Oh, that's gonna that might get George Kittle a little bit close to his zone. Maybe. Alright, second and nine. Second and nine here. We're getting through. Oh. He finds Goodwin though on a little crossing route over the middle. And they're gonna get up to the 20. So we're gonna play this safe. We are gonna send a little bit of pressure here. Because I feel like it's gonna be a run. At least that's what I would do. Oh, it's not a run. Wow. He's gonna toss it. Come on, take him. Take him out. Please. Oh. What a freaking stop. George Kittle breaks like three tackles. Fourth and one, though. It's going to force him into a situation here. Really low scoring game here. This will tie it up, though, for the 49ers. If they kick it down the middle, and they do, they tie it up at a low scoring game. 6-6. Six, six. One thing that Richard Sherman will not follow is if Juju lines up in the empty like this. So if we line up in the empty, we could probably try to get Juju a little bit more involved there as we get it first. The thing is, though, it's not like we're playing horrible out here. It's just we're not really keeping drives going. Oh, wow. We had to cut it back in. James Conner. Is this going to be another huge touchdown for him? Two weeks in a row. James Conner is dirty. I didn't think he had speed, but he's proved me wrong. 100%. He, he, well, look at that burst. The acceleration he'll show. I mean, that's the slightest little hole we found there. Turned up acceleration and just blew past everyone. Go ahead and take a look here. So, I knew we were going to have to cut inside here. I, I think that guy would have made the tackle if we would have went outside. So, I'm glad I cut inside there. So, we cut inside. Then right here, I hit acceleration immediately. Look at that. Nice kind of chip block there, I guess. don't know what that is, but man, we outrun a lot of people there. James Conner does at least... And James Conner is really impressing me. Let me know if you're, he's impressing you guys as well. But I did not expect him to play this good. All right, so Cincinnati is now 2-1. and one, So we're going to have to watch out for that. Division just as murderers row for us, right? Got Cleveland, Baltimore, Cincinnati, I guess. Oh, he's got to bomb it. Come on, pick it. Pick it, yes. What an interception, bro. Mike Hilton with the pick. And, man... That was on Goodwin. That's a really nice interception by Mike Hilton there. I mean, you got to keep in mind, Goodwin can fly. So for him to just keep up with him in the first place, nice, nice there. Really good interception, and we score a touchdown, and we get the ball back here. Let's see if we can stay hot with it. To be honest, I, I know that Sherman is on Juju. I just I got to take Juju. Over Sherman, I think Juju can win these matches pretty easily. Like that, the comeback routes, I mean, that's that's a no-brainer there. We got to find Juju on those. The Pittsburgh definitely has some interesting plays in the gun formation. Definitely is a bit tough. We're going to find Juju again with the stiff arm. Juju gets it all the way up to the 46, and we're getting Juju really involved this game. That definitely was something I wanted to do was get Juju more involved. Because we didn't really get him much involved these first two weeks. That's definitely something I wanted to do. Just going to toss it to the tight end here. Nice little check down there by Big Ben. We get up to the 36. See, I feel like we find ourselves in this position. Uh, the games we've won so far, we got the lead late. And we just can run it and really establish the clock. Chew it down a little bit. Because now that we're in field goal range, that's a two-possession lead right there. So there's really no reason why not just to try to chew the clock up. Now, this is a straight nasty play Pittsburgh has. We've got Juju on the little post route. Doesn't look like that is going to be open. Unfortunately there. Oh, James Washington with the grab. Look at that, bro. James Washington starting to get involved a little bit. All right, it looks like they're sending, hey, a lot of people after us. So we're going to have to get this ball off in a hurry. Yes, James Washington. That done Sherman. That's impressive. For the rookie, Washington, to be able to do that. Impressive. Fourth quarter here already for us, and we'll see what we can do here. James Conner's got the ball. James Conner's got another touchdown. James freaking Conner. 
he is starting to just, that's just the normal. You know, you just think of James Conner, you think he's having a huge game. That's just what it is, and he's filling in for Le'Veon Bell great. So we'll see what the 49ers can do here. Down two possessions. They're going to need to score pretty quick. It's already the fourth quarter. So we'll see. They haven't really passed it greatly this game. Oh, and that's a bummer for them, right? Immediately picked off there. And Joe Hayden on the interception. Our defense is just playing insane this game. I think what's so impressive about our defense is we're not using any of these guys. That's literally our defense just making these plays. So that's pretty impressive. We're going to do a little end around here with James Washington. James Washington. <gasps> no. Oh, they immediately get it back. And they score. Get out of here. Are you kidding? What? A, that's the biggest makeup call I've ever seen in my life. Straight up. Are you kidding? And I, I was thinking, please don't fumble James Washington. What did he do? He fumbles. He freaking fumbles. It's almost like we didn't even drive there that last drive. Just like that, like 20 seconds, they get the lead. I mean, they they score. So now it's only a one possession game. I'm going to make him pay. I'm going to make him pay. We're going to run James Conner down their throats. Oh, big play. Big play. Watch out because we are going to toss it deep to Juju. 100% we are. Get it to him. Get it to him. Oh, he intercepts it. What? That's Quan Alexander. Well, I, I had to take that shot, to be honest with you, because Juju one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker. I mean, who wouldn't take that shot? That's a bummer. Look at how this has turned around. Just like that, literally like a minute off the clock. 49ers got the ball with a chance to take the lead. Oh, gosh, dude. And they're going to start finding people? I just can't believe just like that, bro. Just like that, it's almost tied up if the 49ers can score here. We're, we got to stop him. Gotta, oh, that's wide open. That's not what you want to see there over the middle. Nobody even near him. So that's, that's pretty tough to overcome, to be honest. We're going to have to try to send a little pressure, maybe. Third and inches, this is a huge play. Hey, huge play right now. We're going to slide our O-line over. I mean, D-line. Come on, get after him. Get after him! Mm, okay. That was us. He, he fought through us. We're lined up in the eye, so if they run it here, that's I, I would say we should be able to stop that. It is going to be a run. Outside. Outside, Coleman. Oh, he's fighting forward. No, that's Brita. Here it is. Here it is. We need to stop badly. We need to stop badly. Oh, they're going to pass it? Oh, it gets broken up. Jeez. What a hit there by Bush. Devin Bush with just a destructive hit. We'll see what they want to do. Oh, they're going for it. Jesus. All right. Um, I don't like that. Can't lie. Don't like it. Can't believe they're going to go for it here, man. Let's get a stop. Let's get ourselves a stop. Come on. Get after him. Get after him. Oh. No way. They did not get the first. Challenge that. We're going to throw the challenge out there because from first glance, it did not seem like they got it. We'll go ahead and take a closer look if they do show us. I think it's just going to go... Yeah, look! Come on, man! I don't... We stopped him well short, I thought. This is a huge call right here as well, and that's going to take a timeout, so that could, that could hurt us. Come on, please take it back. I didn't think it was a first. They got it. They got it. How? It didn't look like it to me. Now now our defense is in a real tough spot. Real tough. First and goal. They're lined up on our center. RPL. And we stop it. If our defense can somehow get a stop here, I'll be super impressed. Super impressed. We'll see, though. It's, it's a tough thing to ask. It's a tough thing to ask. Get after him. Take him down. Jimmy G gets sacked at the 19. Stefan to it in there for his second sack. That feels pretty good. I can't lie. That feels really good, actually. Third and goal here. Don't tell me they're going to run it. All right. I was going to say. Mm, finds George Kittle. That's going to make it a manageable fourth down. This is manageable. 100%. Fourth and goal, though. We'll see if we can get after him. Hopefully. Hope. Come on. Get in there. We're there. 
Oh, okay. Well, fourth down, you know what? We get the ball back. I'll take it. I'll take it. Do Now, do we have a defense or not? Are you kidding me? We got put in a horrible position there. And somehow we come out of it on top. I'll take it. And James Conner immediately gets a huge rush. We are going to go for a pass here. Maybe well, it's going to be a bad idea. But if we find Juju, you know? You know what? It's not going to be horrible. All right. Mm, I needed you to hold on to that, bro. I really did. That might end up being horrible for us. I really needed him to hold on to that. Gosh darn, dude. James Conner, though, fights up there. It's going to take us to the two-minute warning, and we're going to be in a crucial third down. Let's go to what we've done best. You know, we, we've really done well when we've gone in the gun, especially empty. So we'll see. Oh, what? What are you doing, Ben? Second and ten already here for the 49ers. We'll see what we can get done. Let, oh, get in there. George Kittle with the reception. We're going to send some, hey, gnarly pressure. The way of Jimmy G, gnarly pressure. Get in there. Get in there, TJ Watt. Gets in there for his first sack. Just demolish freaking Garoppolo. This is likely the game here. Likely the game. Fourth and 13. Game is on the line. We'll see what Jimmy G can do. They need it. They need it bad. They need it bad. And he dropped it. Oh, my God. 84. You can't drop it. You can't drop that. Second and 12. Going to get it to James Conner. James Conner with the ball. And he ends it. James Conner ends the game there with a nice run. And really just something he's been doing all game. He's been running the ball great lately. And one final kneel here is going to get us the dub here over the 49ers. And we are going to be undefeated still. 3-0. We're the team to beat right now. We're the team to beat. Our running game is insane. We're starting to find Juju. Uh, you know, our offense did struggle that game. Only 20 points, but we had a good game. We had a good game. I know Big Ben didn't play great that game, but James Conner really stepped up, took the offense under his control and just really destroyed the 49ers i mean that's that's the only thing you can say about that he just destroyed the 49ers our defense stepped up in a big way big ben still threw for 200 yards he was 18 of 29 200 yards two picks jimmy g though threw three interceptions really a defensive game which is pretty cool but they definitely don't get a whole lot of those only a 62 percent completion rate 100 percent big ben has got to get more accurate he's got to stop missing these easy passes James Conner has a great day, though. 17 carries, 145 yards, 8.5 average, two touchdowns. Great day there for Big Ben. Receiving the ball, six receptions, 78 yards for Juju. Still need to get him more involved, especially in the red zone. Uh, besides that, really nothing special here. Blocking. Offensive line held up great. Uh, besides that sack by Juju. I mean, besides the sack by Nick Bosa. Besides that, we held up pretty good. We got three sacks, two by two, one by TJ Watt. We had three interceptions, which is really good to see. One by Joe Hayden, Barron, and Hilton. It's a pretty good game there all in all. Really liked the way our defense played. And, uh, you know, it was just an off day for our offense, I think. It was just an off day. That was the best defense we had faced yet. And we're sitting good at 3-0. Let's go ahead and hop into the main menu here. And let's go ahead and upgrade some of our players. Wow, so next episode, we're going to be taking on the 2-1 Bengals. Are you serious? How are they 2-1 and one and Baltimore's 0-3? Then you got the Browns sitting at 2-1. Wow, we're at the top of the division. That feels pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and show you this. I wanted to show you our draft class. Because we are going to be using a realistic draft class here. And we're going to be going with, uh, you know, the we got Tua in here. A lot of the people that should be in here are going to be in here. So I think it's going to be kind of cool getting a draft class like this where this is actually my first time doing a franchise where we are going to be using one of these draft classes. So I think it should be pretty cool. I'm going to do the scouting another time. But, uh, yeah, next episode should be a fun one. Let's go ahead and quickly upgrade some of our main guys here. Just some of our starters. See if anybody's got an upgrade point on offense. Nobody really that's going to be of help is going to have an offensive upgrade. All right, we got a couple on the defense here. Our slot guy doesn't have any. Devin Bush has an upgrade point. Going to that field general for him. Get him up to a 74 overall. Pretty good. Devin Bush has been good, good for us. Really good. He is not really close to that 500 downs yet. I'm still curious what is he going to do. 
That speed, though, that speed is just hard to really obtain. 91 at the linebacker spot? That's impressive. That is what they would call impressive. So that is going to get us up to a 77 overall here with Williams. And that is going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure you hit that sub button. That would be greatly appreciated. And I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Let me know what you thought about it. And let me know what you think about our next episode and just what our team is as a whole. Let me know what you guys think about that. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.